Well, don't blame me for not loving you. I was doing my duty. Blame yourself if I don't love you, okay? When I'm in love with a woman, <laughs> that's her fault. So what happens if I'm not in love with a woman? Is that just my fault? Mary and Cody are meeting to talk about the end of their relationship in this week's episode of Sister Wives. I mean, we had that discussion about where our relationship is at. After you made it very clear that you weren't interested in working on a relationship with me. Well, don't blame me for not loving you. I was doing my duty. Blame yourself if I don't love you, okay? When I'm in love with a woman, <laughs> that's her fault. So what happens if I'm not in love with a woman? Is that just my fault? If I'm mad about a woman, passionate, want to serve her, want to rub her feet, want to carry in her groceries, if I'm in, if I want to buy her jewelry, if I want her to feel special all the time, if I'm in love with a woman, I think that is her fault. But the conversation quickly got heated. I'm not placing blame. All I did was acknowledge the fact that he told me he was not interested in working on a relationship. You want me to own it that much? I'm not saying anything about I didn't say I wasn't interested in working on it. Anything. I did say I didn't want, I could fake through it. Yeah, I'm not interested in faking oh, a but relationship. That's not me anymore. saying I can't work on it. You're trying to make me own it. That's really not where this was. I didn't know we were was. having a fight here. I did not, not know that this was a fight conversation because I'm not, I'm I'm not open to that. It's not. I'll it's shut not, it down right now if it's It's a an fight. accountability conversation right. that we agreed mutually that the relationship isn't going to progress. You're right, we did. Okay. You had a part in it, I had a part in it. I took the steps and we're done. Mm moving on, moving forward together. There's no moving forward together. Right. But Mary continues to insist that she isn't putting the blame on just one person. The breakdown of mine and Cody's relationship is definitely not all on him because I definitely have my part in it. And I don't think that he likes to see that he failed. But if you didn't want to fail, maybe you shouldn't have married the wrong person one or two or three times. However, Cody says he doesn't like how Mary went about the termination of their marriage. Why'd you move so quickly on it then? Quickly? It's interesting that you're saying that it's quickly. This has been a long, long, slow and painful process. I married you in 1990 because I was committed to it and I loved you. Basically, the statements are all of this. You can choose, but I cannot. I, who said that? When I was called and told about our- Termination. Termination. That's bull Well, I'm... That is so not fair to me. And that is so not fair I to agree. You. I would have rather you have told me, Cody, years ago. I felt compelled to always stick it out with Mary, even though the relationship was terrible. When looking back at his relationship with Mary, Cody says he wishes he never married her. This marriage was on the rocks, the entire marriage. And how would I know that? Because I had such a better relationship with Janelle, with Christine, with Robin. And Janelle and Christine didn't survive. I should have gotten out of the relationship 25 years ago. I don't know who this guy is. To say the things that he's saying now, this is not the guy that we were married to. I wish you would have made your choice sooner. My choice was always to stay. Had I wanted to leave sooner, I would have left sooner. And Mary had some final words for Cody. I just wish you knew how amazing of a person I really am. As one chapter closes, another one opens, especially for Christine, who has a new boyfriend, David. David's my boyfriend. I met him online, and 
We met in person for like about a month after we started talking. We met in person and the date went great. I knew after our first date that this was something that I wanted to really invest in. My kids, it's, it's gonna be too soon for them. I mean, it's important for me to know how my kids feel about David, but however they feel is not gonna end my relationship with David. But how do her kids and Cody feel about her moving on so fast? As happy as I am for her, I think that there is like a strangeness in it just because I've only known her as married to my dad. So she's divorced, she's only been divorced for a little bit. And so it's a little, I think, just strange. I thought it was fine, I thought it was fine. I do, however, think you guys are moving so, so fast. Agreed. So fast. I proposed to Tony before two months. I'm not talking about you right I'm now, saying. I'm talking about mom. This is all fast, it definitely is. Um, I think it's harder for some siblings than others. If Christine's wanting to date, she should have been dating, in my mind, it's like whenever she felt like she was divorced. This is arguably mom's first boyfriend ever. So I think they are moving fast, but it's also completely okay because this is a brand new experience for her at least. Cody and their kids also weighed in about how they feel about PDA. I hated PDA because I had four wives and it was just, Always awkward, never quite right. I, I actually, <laughs> I like doing PDA now, but uh, Robin's very shy. <laughs> so that other evening when you were over and David oh, was it's here. so weird. Yeah, it's, it's really so weird. so weird. We were just sitting there. I don't think uh, it's weird. Yeah, my mom always wanted more physical affection from dad and she didn't really get it. And so now she's gonna have one person to herself who she can have physical affection with publicly as much as she wants. And Christine fell in love with David fast. We have said the magical words to each other, <laughs> but it only took us a week. What? Oh, I was gonna high five you, Mickey. Oh, you, wait, you said what? I love you within a week? Yes, it was a week and a day, <laughs> just a week. <laughs> who said it first? Him. Of course. What? Oh, God. He said it first? He did say it first. I said it right after, though. I want mom to be happy. I want mom to be safe. And I'm holding judgment until I meet him. But from what I've seen in her, she's happy, and I, I think she'll be OK. But even though Christine's kids like David, they still think he's a boomer. He reminds me of Cody. Oh, God. Oh, uh, fine. What? It's true. You got to expand on that, Tony. Well, he's he's like from the same generation for sure. All this boomer stuff that I have no idea what he was saying, Tony, but like. Tony, he's not a boomer. He's totally a boomer, are you no, kidding? No, he's not a boomer. Bro. Okay, he's 59, Bro. wait, he's 59. 59. Does that make, <laughs> yeah, I know. 60 oh years God. ago? the same as you, right, Mom? Oh. No. Mom's 50. I'm 50. No, I know how old you are. Generation. I mean, it's the same generation as you. I That's like know. Cold War stuff, man. Cold War? Tony. Oh my word, do you know where the Cold War was? Most. I think I'm older than you think. See, I'm not a boomer, and David's only five years older than I am. So I don't think he's a boomer. I'm not a freaking boomer. I'm not a boomer. I'm not. My mom's a boomer. Is David a boomer? Is Technically, he's a boomer. <laughs> Am I dating a boomer? So David's a boomer and my mom's a boomer. David is eight years older than I am. Eight. 